unfortunately, some people and organizations still prefer to focus on ideological battles of the past by refusing to objectively assess the science behind smoke-free products and the potential this represents for public health. They confuse people who smoke. As a result, smokers remain unaware or uncertain about the better alternatives that are available to them and may continue to smoke cigarettes. Skeptics often ask, why don't we just stop selling cigarettes? For me, the better question is, when will people stop buying cigarettes? Today, despite the increasing prevention and cessation efforts, consumer demand for cigarettes remains high. There are more than 1 billion smokers in the world. And according to the World Health Organization, there will still be 1 billion smokers in 2025. If we were to quit selling cigarettes tomorrow, smokers will simply pick up another brand, legally or illegal. Yes, I understand that our transformation faces skepticism and misconceptions. However, we believe that the best way to counter this misconception is to be open and transparent and share our views with as many people as we can, hoping they will embrace positive change. I know that not everyone will trust what I say, and that's okay. Our job, my job is to continue to demonstrate the public health opportunity that these alternatives provide. For us at PMI, I recognize that many people trust neither the company nor the tobacco industry in general. Therefore, rather than expecting implicit trust, we ask people to objectively judge our actions, review our science, and engage in probing discussions on our journey to a smoke-free future. Skepticism is understandable, but at some point, you also have to move beyond mere skepticism and look at the scientific evidence. Frankly, I don't think it's reasonable to essentially condemn a population to only smoke cigarettes when there are better alternatives available. 